Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus November 16, 2022. You might gain new insight that helps you make good choices for yourself today. It's possible you enhance a bond with someone through a conversation. Friends can be supportive or helpful their feedback is valuable, although it may take time before you see it. Information emerges, or secrets reveal themselves, giving you a new understanding of a friendship, a business deal, or long-term plans. Interactions with a team, associate, or acquaintance can lead to solid ideas. Communications or activities with friends can set things right in your world today. Seeing differences with people as engaging and interesting rather than annoying allows you to relax and enjoy yourself more than usual. Your projects and communications are pretty imaginative and inspiring now. An absolutely gorgeous day for a meaningful conversation with someone you care for is upon you. As the mighty sun continues to paddleboard through your solar 11th house of communities and friendships, he will shoot a smile over to majestic Neptune, who is singing like a mermaid beneath the seas of your solar 3rd house. Your mind and communication will be activated, giving you the perfect time to pitch an idea to your one and only about how you can work as a team to build toward one of your greatest aspirations. Instead, this may be a glorious moment to meet someone via online dating or an app or instead have a heart-to-heart -heart with a friend. Who is part of your inner professional circle? Focus on surrounding yourself with a professional support system when Mercury in Scorpio sextiles Pluto in your sign while the Sun in Scorpio trines Neptune retrograde in Pisces. Between both transits, you may come to a more enlightened conclusion about your connections on and offline. Take note of what comes up throughout the day in conversation, especially how colleagues speak to you or about your accomplishments. Allow people to reveal their true natures and focus on your most loyal connections instead of shallow work friends. With Saturn back in direct motion in your income sector and starting to pick up speed, there is a growing sense of confidence on the income side of the financial fence. It is on the other side of the financial fence that there is no planetary activity, with the moon's return to your financial sector today a valuable chance to check in with your financial situation and money matters. The aspect of the day presents challenging conditions within friendships right now. A good deal of perspective is gained through working out and maybe you need to focus on your body instead of reacting to miscommunications, etc. Staying fit and tone takes time and focus, and this can benefit your relationships because it gives you time to reflect on conflict while taking care of yourself. If everyone took better care of themselves, the focus would shift to celebrating what works in a relationship, instead of groaning about what doesn't work. Anything that involves social interaction will go over very well. Take active part in any virtual meetings or gatherings that you're expected to attend. If you find you're not as focused as you usually are, use an agenda so nothing important is missed. Once the workday is over, see about getting together with some friends or family, if possible. Enjoy some laughter and good times. As she spends her last full day in your friendship sector and while she is still working with the laws of attraction and synchronicity, Venus will be doing her best to put you in the right place at the right time. A friendly aspect to Jupiter in your communication sector brings the element of luck and fate together, with some lucky and serendipitous encounters possible. This is a day for listening to your heart and your gut while making the most of any chance to connect. As the moon wraps up its first visit to your relationship sector since Jupiter retrograde back into your communication sector, Helping to cement something that can keep the communication lines open is the support between the planet of luck and Venus, the planet of love. Where this may have pushed some buttons and flushed out any issues yesterday, it comes when the communication lines have unprecedented support. Our eyes in the sky. Be sure to have your dream journal handy this morning as the Cancer moon forms a helpful connection to communicative Mercury. This cosmic climate can bring psychic prophecies or visions, so try to note any strange encounters you had while wandering through the astral realms. This energy lingers as alarm clocks start going off, 
an early morning meditation is likely to bring some spiritual breakthroughs and epiphanies. We see the vibe change as Lady Luna struts out of Cancer and into Fiery, proud Leo. Use this cosmic climate as an excuse to build up your ego, and don't feel guilty about showing off a bit. You'll feel like socializing later in the afternoon, and a helpful connection between the sun and moon is sure to make you the life of the party. You are on the brink of making a major advancement in your career. Don't ruin this wonderful opportunity by jumping the gun. Not everything is in place yet. Be patient. Today is a good time to reflect on the past and take mental notes. You will find yourself daydreaming and this is fine. Let your mind go. You will obtain great insight when you don't restrict yourself in any way. Your fantasies are very valuable they will help lead the way to the next step in your career. As the day comes to a close, take some time to connect with the universe and thank the other side for all the blessings and opportunities you've been given. This is a time of emotional growth. Get ready for a lot of change. In the pre-dawn hours, the Cancer Moon forms a trine with Jupiter in Pisces, putting us in an idealistic mood. We may be more conscious of our shared history, about how we are connected with others through time and space by circumstance, tradition, or belief. The moon enters a short void of course following this aspect's perfection lasting about two hours. If we are awake, we should use this influence for socializing or self-reflection and hold off on starting new projects. Don't make any major decisions. Postpone any major meetings. Your head is not fully stable and any move you make will not turn out as you desire. There is no stronghold to keep you grounded. This is a time to stick to tasks that are already planned. People are quite hot-tempered right now, and it's up to you to decide whether you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. There is a strong, prickly feeling of change in the air, and spiritual realizations could fall into your lap in the hours ahead. A great strategy for the evening is to honor your body's needs. There's an emphasis on life's niceties and pleasures. Eat great food, watch wonderful movies and give yourself plenty of rewards. The cosmic energies are opening the door to the other side once the hour strikes midnight. Witches and warlocks, you'd better prepare that broomstick and get ready for a ride. Don't waste your time with people who don't fully understand your situation. Others may act like they know what they are talking about, but the truth is that they don't fully understand as well as you do. Be careful of who you listen to. In the morning, the moon enters Leo, ending its short void of course. Over the next two days, the moon is the only body besides Chiron currently transiting a fire sign. The elemental scales are heavily tipped in favor of water energy now, so the moon's stay in Leo offers us a boost of energy. We can consciously remove ourselves from dense emotional situations if we so choose. This is a good period for play and communing with our inner child. It may also be one where we err on the romantic or theatrical side. 